Today is a very sad day in the city of Memphis. First, I'd like to express our sincere condolences to the family, friends, and numerous others who have been impacted by the tragic and heinous kidnapping of Eliza Fletcher. Yesterday evening, September 5th, at approximately 5.07 p.m., the Memphis Police Department and other law enforcement partners discovered the remains of a body, a human body, in the rear of a vacant duplex apartment at the 1600 block of Victor Street. At that time, it was believed the unidentified body could possibly be the remains of kidnapping victim Eliza Fletcher. Further forensic investigation by the MPD traffic unit positively identified the body was, in fact, Eliza Fletcher. This finding marked the culmination of a four-day intensive investigation incorporating a robust search and rescue effort and the timely arrest of suspect Cleotha Abston on September 3rd, the day following the kidnapping. Cleotha Abston has been charged by MPD homicide investigators with the following state charges. First degree murder, first degree murder and perpetration of kidnapping, especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. In addition, Abston has been charged with the following unrelated offenses, identity theft, theft of property, and credit card fraud. While the outcome of this investigation is not what we hoped for, we are nonetheless pleased to remove this dangerous predator off the streets of Memphis. I'd like to personally thank the professional and highly skilled men and women of the Memphis Homicide Unit, the Memphis Police Department, the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney General's Office, Homeland Security, the ATF, and the University of Memphis Police Department for your relentless efforts and many contributions toward this investigation. The collaboration and cooperation amongst all of our partner agencies was nothing less than symphonic. We are also very grateful for the hundreds of tips that came through our Crime Stoppers and other platforms from our citizens at large. Our engaged and supportive community is truly our most valued asset. Just remember that this still is an ongoing investigation.